Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa Allen Arianis, TEA, and this is Tea Time Adventures on YouTube and I have my special guest, my guy. And we are going to unbox the Universal Yums and this time it came from Italy. So this is for October of 2024. So go ahead and open that on up. And if you're thinking about it, please give us a thumbs up for positivity. Share us out. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. So it always comes with a little pamphlet. Then it gives you a general idea of where things are coming from. It also has a little scoreboard on the back. Now they've changed that scoreboard. Um, it just used to be a list, but it actually has little photos of the items that are gonna be in here. So that's something new that they must have just started. So it gives you little tidbits like Bologna, uh, anyone who's tried, tried, who's tired of pronouncing Bologna, the meat, Bologna, should try Mortadello, <coughs> another region speciality. Florence is Tuscany's capital, is the art-filled birthplace of both pianos and gelato. And the other tidbit is Rome, the capital, Emerald City, or Eternal City, excuse me, is huge and ancient and has a whole museum dedicated to pasta, etc., etc. So they always give you nice little trivia bits. And then an even larger brochure, and this will have um, little fun sayings and... Um, watching for balsamic vinegars as some of their items. Um, again, more trivia. At what point is salad traditionally eating, eaten during an Italian meal? At the end. As a first course, at the main dish, uh, after the main dish, or for dessert? And the answer to number seven, what did you say? At the end of the meal. C, which is... It's a palate cleanser. After the main dish, but A is more typical today eating first yeah. so you got it <laughs> um, it also tells you about each item that is in the box um, about the assorted candies um, pasta shape information the journey of the tomato it has a couple of recipes even in this one let's see pasta puttanesca and Tuscan rob robolita Okay, so we've got one that's like a pasta pasta and one's more like a pasta soup. So, and then we've got the dietary and nutritional information about each of the items in here. You have to be your own healthcare advocate. So if you have any allergies, please read the ingredients first. You and I aren't burdened by that. So, <laughs> and then they Eggplant, have, that's, no. I, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, no eggplant. Eggplant is the devil's own fruit. <laughs> Neither of us like eggplant. Um, so, and then they've got cute little stickers for Italy. So, go ahead and show them what's in the box. Just hold it up. Oh, the whole box. There we go. Wait. You, wait. Oh, oh, see, that's why. <laughs> we've got a sneak peek of some of the items in there. I don't know if you can reach that. Uh, I, down there. I got arms. You. He has really long arms. Uh, I have short uh, T-Rex arms. Because apes together strong. <laughs> We're also geeks, so you're going to hear a lot of pop culture sci-fi quotes back and forth. What's this first item that we have? Uh, it is called... I forgot my eyeballs. It's called... Moretta? Mor Mor Moretta. 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 And what are we? We are a... Well, it does not help that nothing is in English. Um, it looks squishy, so do you want to try something like this? Sure. Made in Italy. Sophis. Medina? Tiramisu something or other. So, okay, that's like a little sweet treat, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, we have 130 calories for one cake. So, ooh, it is soft. So, gonna head, oh, it, it is like a cake. Oh my. Okay, so gonna go ahead and take that carefully off as I spill crumbs everywhere. Okay, so, it kind of looks like a brownie. Yeah, like it's tiramisu. See the little layers mm -hmm, that it's got in mm -hmm. it? I don't know if you want to take a bite first or if you want to pinch off some. I'm just going to. Okay, whatever you want to do. I am not. Bust it up. Okay. There we go. All right, let me try a little bit. Frosting's good. It is crumbling apart. <laughs> so on the inside, we have some lighter chocolate cake with a little filling, and it's covered in chocolate that's crumbling. 
it does have a would you say there's a hint of coffee yeah a hint not not overly powerful and i'm not a fan of coffee so the chocolate's smooth it's not overpowering mm -hmm. and there's on the back taste there's like this it's it's sweet but not overpowering sweet i will agree with that um the cake is a little nondescript. You know it's chocolate, but yeah. it's not hitting you in the face with like a brownie sort of thing. Um, it's better than a Twinkie. Can I finish it? You finished it. There we go. Okay. Next item is a, a little bit harder and chewy. It is a chocolate with pistachio. You let me know if you want to try these or... No, that one. No, skip that one. Yeah. Okay. Next thing is an amaretini crisp almond cookies. Yes, no. Sure. Okay. Let's see. I'll give you a better look at these. I'll probably like them with coffee. Yeah. Hopefully you don't like them when I get them. I can I can survive with with you having I'm those teasing. to dip in your coffee. Their packaging is just as infuriating as it is here in the United States. Oh, these are very tiny. So, okay. I don't know if you want to a... see how tiny those are. Give me a couple. That's, there we go. Okay. It's like that. That's a good, mm, a little teeny, over teeny, half teeny inch little in bite. diameter. Yeah, teeny tiny little bite. There we are. Crunchy. Mm. You have to kind of wait till it gets back here mm. before you get the almond. Mm -hmm. It's not overly sweet. Well, you love those. I don't. You don't love those. Yeah. Okay, so there goes with your, your coffee thing. Yeah. No, they're fine. I'd probably consume them very quickly. <laughs> okay. Maybe Next. a breakfast cereal. It's almost like a breakfast cereal. You could probably put milk on it and be fine. So, this is what? Authentic, natural quality vintage potatoes in pepperoncini. Pepperoncini. Sweet chill in sweet chili. Crunchy potato chips. So, it's a spicy potato yeah. chip. Mm hmm You want to eat these or wait? Yeah. Okay. I have a feeling you're going to eat these if you like them, because I am not a fan of spice. No. Well, spice, yes. Hot, no. Okay. There it is. Just your basic tater chip. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Consistently, it consistently, it consistence like it's more like a kettle chip that's exactly what i was going to say but i couldn't say it right it's not bad it's not overpowering it's and, not and you do have that that still hanging in grease of the of the kettle chip that's just not right but so good other than paprika color it doesn't tell you what the spices are i mean it might because it's the not, ingredient level hot. It's not hot. That's the whole ingredient list, but it's like here it's like potatoes, sunflower oil, seasoning, <laughs> and natural flavors. <laughs> so, is this something you're going to want to eat? Yeah, I'll finish it. Okay, so I'll have the cookies and you have the, yeah. the chips whenever. Okay, next item in there is Mr. Terralino Pomodoro e Oregano? Tomato and Oregano. I don't know if they're cookies, chips, crunchies. We're going to find out. Okay. <laughs> I'm curious now. I know. Yeah. Okay, grab it. Oh, they're tiny onion rings. Well, or pretzels, or... They don't really have a smell, like, see? Mine's just... a Q. Mine's a Q as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Well, wait, let me turn it right for you guys. Uh, yeah. A Q. A Q. A Q. They're kind of boring. 
kind of bland. Mm -hmm. Really dry. Mm -hmm. There are, there are, well, it's heavy on the dough. You taste dough or, or wheat dough. Um, I'm not getting tomato or there's, oregano. There's subtle undertastes. It's not overwhelming. It's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. She didn't like it. <laughs> wheat flour. Yeah, there you go. White wine. All right. High oleic, oleic sunflower extra virgin olive oil, tomato powder, oregano, dried onion, basil, and sesame seeds. I, I was fine with it. It you wasn't eat, bad at all. Then you get to eat these. Okay, I get two items. Ha! Well, you get this. You get three items. Two items as well. All right. And the last thing is no, they... No, we're keeping track. The last thing is they always give you a teeny tiny little bag of just various little candies, whether they're chewy or hard. Um, that they picked up that... We used to call them penny candies. Like penny candies, yeah. This got pulled off the top and it still doesn't want to open up. So let's see what we have in here. Okay, I think we've got a big fruit, which is squishy. We have that. And then we have, I think, a hard candy, which is... It's a t hard toffee, they're saying. Can't tell if that's an orange or a peach. I'm going to assume it's... One of the other. One of the other. I'm going to assume <laughs> it's an orange. So we each have one of each of those. So I'm going to open yeah, up... Yeah, it looks more like an orange. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and open the squishy toffee. Oh, okay. Then I'll open the hard candy. Okay. Us old folks like hard candy. Okay, so... Mine is a, a little squishy... Mm. <laughs> Mine's flavorful. It looks like that. It's squishy. <laughs> Mine's like a gummy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Scott. I mean, her guy. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just like, um, oh, what are those? Like the orange slices and mm -hmm. the, mm hmm, mm hmm, that type of consistency. That was good. Like a Starburst consistency, but a better flavor. I'm not big. I, Starbursts are all right, but... Mm, this one's a little more creamy flavor. Okay, this comes double wrapped. So the... You got this. That's the one I had. That was good. Right. I'm saving I'm saving this one. For I'm going to save that one. You're right. This one's more of a creamy, really soft toffee. Not. Mm -hmm. Not overly strong with the orange. You can taste it. You can sort of smell it through the back <laughs> of your throat. I, I'm not disappointed. I somehow thought it would be we'd get more chocolate, but that's going to come up with the next one. Yeah, the next one is Belgium. So that should be fun. Um, yeah, I was expecting a little bit. More chocolate from Italy, mm -hmm. rather than... Well, there is this bar, too. Yeah, and that's um, pistachio and, and something that looks very chewy, like that banana like toffee. Movie. Like that oh, banana yeah, yeah, toffee yeah, yeah, yeah. that okay. you got from UK. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. And that's it. That is our Universal Yums from Belgium for October of 2024. We have sampled it all, pretty much, except for, what, one of oh, them? I give yeah. it a thumbs up. This one was okay. Except... Except these. I'm I'm a hard no on, on all these. Right. All I taste is dough. It's like a wheat dough. That's I like all. Them. Oh, well, that's why you get to eat them along They'd with the chippies. They'd be great in tomato soup. See, there you go. So there you go. Um, Yeah, we don't have any soup right now, do we? I know where they keep it. I know. It's a grocery store. Yeah. Yes. So maybe that's something. So tomato, nice can of tomato soup or something or yeah. Yeah, whatever. Okay. All right. That's it. <laughs> that is our uh, unboxing for today. Again, please consider giving us a thumbs up for positivity, sharing us out. And for my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your patronage. For those that are new on the bus and for those driving through just checking us bus out. Bus live. Oh. <laughs> 
I really hope you consider subscribing. So please take good care of yourselves. Take good care of each other. <laughs> what? <laughs> take my care. joke. Oh, oh. I'm so sorry. All right. His dad joke. I know. I know. Okay. Here we go. Did you hear about the barber? The neighbor barber, he got arrested for selling drugs? No, I didn't hear that. I was his customer for six, seven years. I never knew he was a barber. Okay. <laughs> you love me. Yes, I do. <laughs> Okay, and now we're going to wrap it up. And so take good care of <laughs> yourselves. Take good care of each other. And stay tuned for the next dad joke. <laughs> mm. Bye.